Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Elena. My husband and I are quickly approaching our third year of trying for a baby. We have gone through one round of IVF and hopefully within the next couple of months we will be beginning our second transfer of our last embryo that we have currently on ice. For today's video, one thing that I have found through this fertility trying to conceive journey is the amount of time and effort that I spend looking and researching baby names. For me personally, I love names with meaning and going through the trials and tribulations of infertility, of a failed transfer, of just the ups and downs of trying to conceive. I have put together a list of 11 baby names, five boy names and six girl names that represent something so powerful and huge um, after going through something so powerful and huge such as infertility. Whether you're in the world of infertility for three months, six months, three years, six years, whatever that may look like for you, the meaning behind these names are so amazing and represent and put together the most beautiful picture of what you went through. One belief that I personally have is someone who has gone through infertility, there's a different kind of love and bond that you have with your child versus you just try, you know, for a couple months and you achieve pregnancy. The want and the need and the love for your baby has grown so intense over the course of your journey to baby and not everyone's journey is easy and I just hope I wanted to put a list together that would encapsulate the journey that I am going through that you all are going through hopefully you find some inspiration from this list before we get into the baby names if you have not already subscribed be sure to do so before you leave give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started the first name that I have is Asher. Asher is on my baby name list. This is a name that I have always thrown out to my husband. I love this name. The meaning behind this is happy or blessed. One thing that has been spoken to me time and time again is through all the struggle, all the tears, all the heartache, it will all be so worth it. And I think once we are holding that precious baby, we realize just how immensely blessed we are. We no longer think about the shots, the medicines, the doctor's appointments, the money spent. All we see is this beautiful baby and that becomes our focus and everything else is just like hmm, out the door, no big deal. Love this name. I actually think it could be gender neutral, an Asher for a girl, Asher for a boy. It's one of my favorites. The next name that I have is also gender neutral and that is Elliot. Elliot is a name that I have on my girl name list. Elliot means the Lord is my God. The Lord is my God. It's just so powerful and it's so beautiful reflecting over this journey and in every step that we take, God has been right there beside us through every hill and every valley. I love the name Elliot and I love the meaning even more. Next name on my list is Jace. Jace simply means healer. One thing that I love about the name Jace and its meaning is once we have held our baby for the very first time after struggling for so long that baby truly is our healer we no longer are thinking about what it took to get to this point we're no longer thinking about the dollars and the time and the effort spent all we see is this beautiful face i know for myself once i look into the eyes of our baby that baby truly is my healer and i know that every broken piece of my heart that has been shattered and lost this process will be healed the minute no the second that i lay eyes on our sweet baby the next thing is again gender neutral maybe i shouldn't say that i have five boy names and six girl names i just have a hodgepodge the name is Noah. I love the name Noah for a little girl. Noah means rest or comfort. And God brings us rest and comfort and he has brought that to me so many times when I have just prayed, God, I need sleep. I need rest. I need peace. I need comfort. God has always delivered and always stood true in his promise to deliver peace and comfort. Noah is definitely in my top five for baby names. If I can only get Levi on board. Okay, the last baby boy name that I have is Theo. I think Theo is absolutely adorable. I just picture like the blondest of blonde little boys. I think it's just a darling name and this name means gift. After going through the hardships of infertility, I can't think of a better name that would perfectly tell the story of your journey and what this baby truly is to you and that is simply a gift. For baby girls, the first thing that I have is Audrey. Audrey is a very timeless name. It is one of my favorite names. This name means nobility or strength. 
One thing that I have learned over the years of struggling to conceive is how strong and resilient I am. For the longest time, I thought that I was weak, I thought that I was small, and I, I just didn't see how I measured up to some women around me. And then going through this and struggling and a failed transfer, all of the things, I have come to love so much about myself, and one of those is my strength and my resilience. So many of you women, whether you see it in yourself, whether you believe it in yourself, are so resilient, you are strong, you have gone through one of the hardest things in life and you're making it through and one day, one day, you will see the light at the end of your tunnel and it's all because of your strength to continue to push on and not give up. Audrey is such a beautiful name. I am slowly introducing Levi to these new names and hopefully he'll come on board with some of them. The second name is Isabel. One reason that I like Isabel is my middle name is Belle. So I think that it kind of carries on my name a little bit in my daughter's name, Isabel. So many cute nicknames and just a beautiful name altogether. And this name means God is my strength. How true for this process. I've said it time and time again, we have had to lean on. It's like a constant leaning on God for strength and for comfort and for wisdom and for peace for love, all of the things, and he has always came through. He, one thing that I've always heard growing up is God sticks closer than a brother, and that is so true. God is there when it feels like everyone else has turned their back. God is there when I want to turn my back on myself. God is my strength. He has been my strength through this process 101%. I love the name Isabel. Another name that also means God is my strength and is one of my favorites is Brielle. I think Brielle is a beautiful name. It is so simple, it's unique. I don't know of any Brielles. I think it is just the perfect name for a little girl. The next name is Thea. Thea is gorgeous. I have only seen one other little girl named Thea, so again, it's a very unique name. Thea means a gift from God, and I think this is a name that is so timeless. So many people, anytime a woman is pregnant, a young girl is pregnant, they always say it's a gift from God, it's a blessing, and a baby truly is, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how long your path took to get you to that baby. A, get, a baby is a gift from God. I think Thea is a powerful name, and it tells the story of you and your journey so perfectly. The next name is Miral. I think this is a beautiful name. I have never met anyone with this name. This name means miraculous. Not only is the baby you are holding miraculous, but you are as well. Like I mentioned earlier, those of us going through infertility, struggling to hold our baby that we so desperately long for and pray for, we are such miraculous beings for putting up the fight that so many others will never understand, that so many others will never have to walk in we are miraculous mamas. The last name that I have is Mira. This is not a name that I have a meaning for. However, it is just short for miracle. I think Mira is so beautiful. I actually heard this from a testimony um, from a woman that had been struggling to conceive for many years. She took the word miracle and shortened it to Mira for her little girl. Everyone's stories look so different to get to their miracle baby. But regardless, one thing that we can all agree on is that maybe it took you a month to get pregnant, maybe it took you several years and doctor's appointments and specialists. Either way, those babies are true miracles. Hopefully one day I'll be able to use this name, Mira. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. In the comments below, if you'd like, leave your baby names, the meanings, why you love them or why you chose them. I'd love to read all of them. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Like Jassy. I don't know why I did Jassy. Okay, bye guys, let me retry that.